friends, I wanted to come and do this video for you today to discuss what the soul it kind of is, what it's made up of. And that is consciousness and energy. The soul is the entity of consciousness and energy. And the consciousness and energy that makes up the soul is really the consciousness and energy of unconditional love. We know that the soul is a facet of source. It is made of source energy. You can call it God. Well, God is consciousness and energy. Source is consciousness and energy. And it is the consciousness and energy of unconditional love. The consciousness of unconditional love is made of like thoughts and beliefs such as I'm enough and I'm lovable as is. It is made of beliefs such as my body is a safe and beautiful place to be. I am free. I can create whatever I want. I can be, do, and have whatever I want. Um, I have the power to shift or transform or heal or create whatever I want, I desire. This is kind of what the, the consciousness of love is. It is also about understanding that um, that person is a part of me. Like you are not separate from me. We are part of the same source. We are fast, different facets, having different experiences. But the love consciousness does not other a person. It sees another person as a part of self in some way. But these are kind of the consciousness of love. So when we're talking about loving ourselves, and we know that as I teach that self-love is the practice of becoming more of the soul, not less. Right? It's the practice of doing, the offering behaviors, making choices, thinking thoughts that allow us to become more of our soul and not less of our soul. So when we're thinking about becoming the consciousness of our soul, the consciousness of love, loving ourselves is about how can I get more of the thoughts that I am enough, I am lovable as is in my consciousness? How can I get more thoughts that my body is a safe and beautiful place to be? in my consciousness and in my belief system? How can I get thoughts that are in alignment and, and solidify the consciousness of me being safe in the world, of me being free, of me being able to create whatever I want and desire and, um, and yearn for, right? These thoughts of love, what are the thoughts of me being connected to you, Right, that I am not apart from you. You're not separate from me. We are one. Like, what kind of thoughts can I get that allow me to become more of that consciousness? That allow me to move through the world with more and more of that consciousness and not less. Right. So when I think thoughts like, I'm not enough, or I'm not attractive, or um, I'm not safe in the world or my body is not, you know, my body is not a capable place to be safe in or I think thoughts like I'm not free or I can't create what I want or I can't have what I want. Those thoughts are helping me become less of the consciousness of my soul and therefore those thoughts are not self-loving thoughts, right? So that's the consciousness, like the, the consciousness piece is when we're thinking about the practice of self-love, it is about becoming more of the consciousness of unconditional love, more of the consciousness of my soul. Again, the soul is also energy and the soul's energy is multifaceted, meaning it's not just one made up of one thing. It has several vibrations that make it up. So it is the energy of unconditional love, but the energy of unconditional love is several vibrations. And those vibrations are mainly, you know, um, the vibration of ease, the vibration of freedom, the vibration of worthiness, the vibration of empowerment, and the vibration of joy. So as I'm talking about self-love as becoming more of my soul, I want to become more and more of these vibrations and not less of them, right? So when I'm thinking about the practice of self-love, I'm offering thoughts i'm offering um i'm offering behaviors i'm making choices for myself and i'm living a lifestyle that help nourish these vibrations in me that help support them and help them grow and expand so that i become more of this vibration in my life instead of less again the soul is consciousness and energy it is the consciousness of unconditional love and it is the energy of unconditional love 
And self-love is the practice of becoming more of this consciousness and more of this energy in our daily lives. It may take a lifetime to become the fullness of the soul in our lives, but every day we're moving more and more to close to being the embodiment and the expression of that. And this is why um, self-love is very important because when we become the consciousness and energy of our soul, we create what unconditional love creates, which is more love. We create it in the planet and we create it in our lives. So we live a life that feels more and more like the bliss of unconditional love, like the health of unconditional love, like the prosperity and abundance of unconditional love, like the fulfillment and the happiness of unconditional love. But the less we do that, the less we begin to have thoughts like that and hold beliefs that are not in alignment with the consciousness of our soul, and the more we do things that don't allow us to hold the vibration of our soul, the less we experience that abundance, the less we experience that fulfillment and happiness, the less we experience that health, the less we experience that financial abundance. It all is predicated on how much we're becoming the consciousness and energy of our soul. And I just wanted to sh do a quick video to help you understand what the consciousness and energy of the soul actually is. So you can understand when you're looking at loving yourself, this is what it's about. It's not about buying that dress necessarily that you saw in the store. It's not about taking that hot bath or getting that massage. Those things can help you a bit, but the practice of self-love is bigger than that. It's about becoming the consciousness and energy of the soul more and more every day. As always, I hope this helps you in your journey of self-love, in your journey of healing, in your journey of manifesting a more delicious life. Until next time, I love you. Now go love yourself.